So I'm gonna go to left to right exp and try to exp to go from left to right and try to explain everything briefly. And then in later videos we'll go in more in depth. Now this is remember my first commentary or audio related thing from me. So keep in mind if the quality's bad, please don't yell at me. I'm gonna try to improve it. Proof of it. If I'm boring as hell, please let me know and I'll try to spice it up. If I'm all of the above, let me know still. Okay. So let's go from left to right. So over here we have a Coke oven. A Coke oven is part of Railcraft. Railcraft is a mod that uh, has to do with rails a lot. It adds a few new carts and uh, new mechanics with them and devices to interact with carts. Now, and we'll get more into that later. Now, the Coke oven is a very simple machine, if you want to call it that. Um, it is used from converting coal. Here, we'll get some coal real quick. Into coal coke. Which is right here. Now, coal creates 4,000 EU. We're going to use that as our baseline. Coal Coke creates 16,000 EU. Now, you know, the more EU, the better. And, well, the more EU, the better. So, with the Coal Coke, it is essentially free energy. And it creates creosol oil with that energy. So, even getting something else. And you can burn this. So, it's essentially creating free, you're quadrupling your EU, and you're creating creosol older, which is a burnable oil. But you also, crap, just dropped my mouse. You also need it <coughs> for a few recipes and build, uh, in, um, railcraft. Now, to create cold coke, you simply take your co coal and place it right here. The coke oven will begin burning the coal into cold coke. Now it takes a little while. I don't know how long. But for every coal you convert to coal coke, you get 500 units of liquid. Now a thousand units of liquid equals one bucket. Now one bucket is, you know, a bucket. You can't do anything with 500 units. You'll have to go to all the way up to um, a thousand to be able to extract it. Now you can still... Now, I'll get more of that later. But, yeah, you essentially want a 1,000. You say 64,000, that's 64 buckets. A stack of 64 coal will create 32 creosol, 32 buckets of creosol oil, or 32,000 units. It'll also create 64 coal coke, and it'll take a very long time. I don't know how long a very long time is, but my guess of somewhere close to an hour. Now, I think this... Or a little more than an hour. I think this takes like a minute and a half. So we're going to let that run for a little bit. Now here's a bed. You know basic beds for Minecraft. If you don't, go watch Paul Source Jr.'s Minecraft tutorials. That's how I got into Minecraft and learning everything. So this right here. This is a Miscraft writing bench. Now you use a Miscraft writing benches for creating ages or dimensions in your writing books. Writing books are used... Uh, for creating dimensions like I just said if uh, you want to create new dimensions to pretty much customize your world where's writing book you know, just type in book and I'm sorry if I get quiet from time to time it's because I moved too far away. oh descriptive book my bad if I get too quiet I'm sorry it's because I moved too far away from my mic and it is a dynamic mic which means I have to be really close to it for it to hear me um, I'm <clears throat> I'm not gonna sound the greatest because this isn't the best quality of a mic, but I hope it'll do for us to improve on later. And then I do plan on buying a new mic ASAP as soon as I get the money squared around. Okay, so for the book, you take a normal book and a feather, and that creates a descriptive book. You place the descriptive book in here and add symbols. Now the symbols represent things you want in your world. And if you add the wrong symbols, your world will fall apart on itself or will be unusable. Such as, you know, you'll catch on fire as soon as you spawn, as soon as you go in that world. Um, or it'll just load and there will be bad, bad things that 
we'll go into more later when I'll go we'll we'll go into later when it is time now you have all sorts of things you can control such as biomes lighting sky terrain features terrain generation time weather and world modifiers now world modifiers are really what make it want to blow up okay so uh, our coal coke finished our coke oven finished and that's what created the coal coke so now we can go burn this in uh, pretty much any type of fuel form so like in your furnace or in an engine or yeah pretty much like that or in anything so this this is a book I cr a descriptive book I created it's called resource age and that's where I get all my resources like iron and tin and copper and iron and uh, sorry no tin and copper and other ores are added by the mods if and we'll go more to that later when I give you more tips on mining okay so and this has desert biome ocean biome and plains biome so those are the only three biomes that will spawn no other biomes will spawn no mountain biomes no swamp biomes and no other biome oh no fort no forest biomes no snowy biomes and then also other things like glowstone crystals will spawn and crystals and lava lakes and strongholds and uh, mine shafts and it's a flat world which means there's no hills and there's no weather and it's always daytime but yeah we'll go into more into that later here's a chest full of stuff and uh, we're gonna go ahead and fix that using the mod that comes pre-installed in the mod pack which by the way is the feed the beast launcher we're using the feed the beast launcher right now this is the dire wolf 20 mod pack this is perhaps version 4 to be more specific um uh, yeah but um this just pretty much holds stuff okay this is part of the inventory tweak mods and this allows you to auto organize chests in your inventory and we can auto organize our inventory by clicking the MMB which is the middle mouse button which is pushing your mouse down and that'll auto organize everything or if you're in a chest you can push this step button see if we have this out of place it'll fix it we can also organize in different things see this is sorting in columns which it tries to sort everything this way so if I have uh, crap there's not a lot of cobble uh, never mind I'll give that I'll demonstrate that later and then this sort stuff horizontally but yeah and then this where you can modify and we'll go more into that later again we're going to be going more in depth on a lot of stuff that's a furnace not going through that this is more stuff bronze bronze is a type of metal that is added in two mods I'm pretty sure which are forestry and industrial craft this is industrial craft bronze I'm pretty sure they're equivalent to each other so you can use the or dictionary which is part of the 4G API to change it between them but I'm pretty sure you can't make a bronze chest actually you know what before I say that I'm gonna check by pressing R using the too many too not enough items interface so yeah this is uh the lighter color bronze which is uh, come on show up that one that one is part of the forestry bronze and then the other one that one is the industrial craft bronze but yeah you can use any other to make the bronze chest plate which is pretty much like a normal chest plate except bronze crafting table iron chest okay see if we use the sort into columns, it'll sort everything in a column. See, that's considered a column, that's a column, that's a column. So it sort in rows, that's a row, that's a row, that's a row. And then that, that just sorts randomly. <coughs> Sorry, sore throat kind of from talking a lot. So, um, er, my throat's hurting from talking a lot. So, uh, this is an iron chest. An iron chest is a part of the iron chest mod to create, it adds a whole different a whole bunch of different types of chests which we'll look at real quick now uh, it adds an iron chest, a gold chest, a diamond chest, a copper chest, a silver chest, and a crystal chest now it goes uh, pretty sure it goes copper, uh, iron, silver, gold, diamond, crystal crystal is cool because it shows the items that are in like the top eight items that there is will show and they'll like appear and it's awesome except it uh, it acts like there's items on the ground which is why I don't like doing that because it's so on my computer and then you have diamond chest this holds a crap ton of stuff I don't know how many specific it is but it's a lot 
And then, you know, we're going down. I'm pretty sure that iron is an iron chest. Oh. Yeah, an iron chest is equivalent to a double chest, but it takes up only one space. And see, iron chests will not connect to themselves or other chests. They are independent. Same thing with all the other chests. So if, you know, you want separated like this chest is that and that chest is that, use copper chest. And here's another iron chest. Okay, so right here is a rolling machine. A rolling machine is part of the Railcraft mod again. If this is used to create lots of things like steel plates and other things, which we'll get more into depth later on in the Let Us Play slash tutorial. This is kind of a tutorial too, except I'd rather it be more towards the Let Us Play. But I will be going in depth, especially with like the logistics spice and stuff and how to uh, create things. Okay, so here's the very technical part of it. Yeah. Build craft. These are these pipes. These are part of build craft. Build craft is a mod that's essentially around. What is that building pretty much? Um, it creates uh, energy thing called then Minecraft jewels. Yeah, creates Minecraft jewels is the power unit of measurement. Now to create Minecraft jewels, uh, you need a whole bunch of different types of engines and let's hope I can spell engines wrong or engines right don't jinx myself so yeah there's a whole di bunch of different type of engines you have redstone sterling which is like um what it used to be called was the steam combustion uh, blue electricity which is another mod called red power we'll get more into that debt later biogas which is part of the forestry mod peat fire forestry electric engine industrial craft Actually, it comes with the forestry mod, but it uses industrial craft energy. Hobbyist. This is uh, the engine that we see right there on the wall. And then we have commercial, industrial, steam. Uh, it's a different type of engine. I'm pretty sure it comes with thermal expansion. Uh, magmatic uh, thermal expansion runs off of lava, and then that's other stuff. <laughs> so depending on the engine, depends on how much... Minecraft jewels and creates. This one at full speed will create 1.6 Minecraft jewels per a tick. I'm pretty sure it's per tick. So, but it'll only send that power out every time that this little odd shaped thing hits the front. So it'll go out in bursts of a lot. <clears throat> and then that'll be sent through the pipes into the machines. And then it'll get stored in their internal buffer. And then that'll be used later. See these two machines are part of thermal expansion which is a mod that uses buildcraft electricity and does a whole bunch of cool stuff. Um, and we'll get more into that later on. Hold on a second. <coughs> okay and last but not least is a redstone engine. A redstone engine is another part of the buildcraft mod except it runs infinitely off of redstone energy which is infinitive never ever ever runs out so you use this for simple tasks that don't require tons of energy and we'll go into that later creates one minecraft jewel every time that hits the front so uh yeah okay and then uh with the hobbyist steam engine you put coal in here it heats up which creates steam the steam runs off of it, it needs water at a constant pace pretty much and uh oh one more thing if to for the minecraft jewels for this to be like expelled into the pipes it needs to go through a wood conductive pipe a wood conductive pipe then con connects to either a gold conductive pipe or a stone conductive pipe if you want to run long distance you want to use gold conductive pipes because they lose the least amount of energy over distance so pretty much always use gold conductive pipes now to create conductive pipes you could take a pipe which is crafted like this you create it's like uh the wood conductor pipes you create uh, some wood and a piece of glass and that creates uh, a wooden transport pipe and then to create a wood conductor pipe you go and put some redstone with the wood and that creates a wooden conductor pipe <sighs> okay <sighs> I need to get a drink here in a minute but yeah and then that's what allows energy to go through. Energy can be expelled through any different pipe, different type of pipes, such as these uh, gold conductor pipes. They take up one block, I'm pretty sure. So 
Yep, um, we're going to go more into the depth when we start using these machines in our, our Let Us Play series. This is kind of the intro, just explaining my world so far. And then last but not least, in the second episode, we'll go into the resource age, show the mine, and then begin. So I hope you're all excited. Let's get an F5 mode for awesomeness. You can look at my Minecraft skin and absorb its awesomeness. Because I'm a creeper in a business class suit. Listening to my headphones and talking on my speaker, talking on my microphone thingamajigger. And I hope you could hear me the whole time, or else I'm gonna look like a complete idiot. And I'm, you know, I'm just wearing my beef by Dre, listening to some music all the time, just chilling. So yeah, um, I'm gonna see you guys later, hopefully in the next Minecraft video. Bye bye.